We're right now in the middle of the crowd, and there are definitely uh, not if even uh, not if 15,000 that were promised by the organizers, but maybe thousands of people. If you can look around me, there are a lot of flags, and that's how you can basically see the quantity of people. Um, the posters that people are carrying, for instance, say that uh, who is the successor? Uh, I am the successor. And if you remember, there is a, a well-publicized program by the other Russia, the opposition uh, coalition, that said that they need to get rid of the successor, that they believe that Putin will, nom President Putin will nominate a successor. So these people here are saying that they are the Russian future, they are the ones to shape the Russian political course and future, and therefore they are the successors. Well, uh, right now um, they are preparing another march right here. They're uh, marching against uh, opposition rallies that are taking place in the center of Moscow right now. And uh, the whole event is called the March of Those Who Agree, the March of Content at this, as they agree with the current political course, whereas the opposition party that has taken place, uh, that is over right now, as we hear in their reports in the other parts of Moscow, is named the March of Discontent. Yes, now we heard that uh, riot police had detained several members of that so-called March of Disagreement. What do we know about that was it a march in the end because the city authorities tried to ban it didn't they or what was it a static rally well, basically, I'd say that there were uh, two rallies in Moscow. Uh, one uh, was uh, taking place and is already uh, over on one Moscow Square. It was sanctioned, it was authorized, and it was also organized by the uh, opposition coalition, the other Russia. Well, there, the uh, demonstration, the rally was peaceful, and uh, there were still plenty of uh, police there. The opposition... Uh, calling itself the other Russia was protesting against the current political course and against Putin basically. Now uh, among the participants among the participants uh, there were um, people who uh, for instance, accused of uh, extremist ideology, of extremist views. There was a political uh, movement that is uh, banned in a lot of Russian regions and is banned currently in Moscow as their case in the court. But uh, also um, some groups of the other Russia tried nevertheless to march, although that was forbidden by local authorities. And uh, uh, the police detained around 170 70 activists of the other Russia who tried to march through the center of Moscow. And we hear that the, one of the leaders of the other Russia, Gary Kasparov, was also detained uh, due to uh, provoca provocative actions against the security personnel. Now, with so many different uh, factions and so many thousands of people on the streets today voicing their various opposing opinions, it's been a huge headache for the city authorities, hasn't it? How many extra police and security were brought in? Headache to say the least, as uh, they brought uh, 9,000 additional security personnel, military personnel, police. So right now you can see that uh, there is a march, another march ongoing in the middle of this rally. So there are thousands of people here, but also there are thousands of people in the city itself. There are uh, several hundreds participating in each rally, and uh, therefore definitely security personnel was on alert. Uh, another rally just started um, in one of the squares of Moscow, which involved nationalist movements, and some of the activists of these uh, groups were accused of attacks on uh, immigrants, on migrants, and people with darker skin, although their official slogan is against uh, illegal immigration. So definitely the police was on alert, and uh, they are uh, trying to pr uh, avoid any kind of provocations, and as I have already said, Overall, 9,000 policemen and military personnel are providing security in the city. For now, Alexander Koshinitz.